I have learned that uh, I needed a wire going from the chassis to the motor, which is, I overlooked it. Say, so, hey, you know, I wasn't born with a wrench in my hand, you know. Everyone's make a mistake. So uh, we're not perfect, you know, we're only human. So anyway, welcome back to the channel, guys. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Well, my goal for today is uh, I'm going to try to uh, weld that, fix that, and also I'm going to cut this off and possibly uh, strip the paint and uh, put some new color on there. As far as like the color, hey, I can always, uh, uh, if I don't like it, I can always take it off and uh, and put a new color on there. Oh man, yeah, yesterday it was uh, kind of, uh, it threw me off doing that, uh, as far as like my uh, DIY uh, clutch interlock harness. In the beginning, I, I, I didn't know that uh, it worked except for the reverse light being on so somehow i did some research last night and uh, i'll figure it out somehow but uh in a moment i'll just go ahead and use the other plug that i use the simple one which is i just soldered them together that's what i'm gonna use and as far as like the lights on the console i mean if i have a manual cluster there's no light, right? So I'll leave it as is. I don't know if it makes a difference or it might control the ignition. Who knows? But I'll find out soon. And uh, I went to the zone and got me the, uh, the distributor cap. But today is just basically the valve cover. And I might do some more research, fix that, and then start all over again. And go back to the main event. And uh, one of my uh, subscriber was asking about the uh, intake air bypass and uh, I'm gonna show you real quick and let me get the part. Okay, let me see if I can uh, explain this correctly. I mean, <laughs> you can correct me if I'm wrong, but from my understanding, because I don't have the, uh, the diagram, I should look it up before I explain it. But from what I know, okay, this one here, it connects to the box. And then from the box, you need the source, which is this one, and it connects either here or here. So it's up to you wherever you want it to use, whichever is available for you. Now, this white thing right here, this round thing, this is a check valve. This is the one that you have to pay attention with. Make sure you, you put this in the correct uh, orientation like this one here I mean you, you could take it off and you can blow some air through it you know and then feel it at the other end see if it, the air goes out and then do it, do it the other way that way you will know the orientation of it so remember it's vacuum so the air has to be sucked from the canister you know so this is the check valve this is the most important thing if you put this thing backwards then it would not work right so anyway so this will be here well this I know because th this this box has never been messed with you know it's still intact so it says something like this okay right there that's just how it is or you put it there it don't matter okay now functionality Right now it's open, but whenever you uh, fire up your motor, this thing will close because the air is worried, it's sucking, it's sucking it up, right? So it's open. So at certain RPM, I believe it's for 5,000, I think, or almost close to 5,000, 4 to 5,000, I'm not sure, somewhere in there. Now... The connector, you see you will send a signal to the connector, to the solenoid right here, and then it will cut the air supply, and this thing is just will pop open. Remember, a normal 
with no power, it's stay open. So it will open. That way you'll have VTEX kicked in. You have all the air to support the fuel. That's what it, that's what the function of it. Now at low RPM, you know, 1,000, 3,000 on your acceleration, it's always close. That way it's restricted. Then you would have more torque. So if it's open, you will lose the torque. But like I said, you would not feel anything at all. You would not feel the difference. Okay, if you, if you don't have this, no biggie. All you need to do is just plug it in. Yeah, eventually when there's too much uh, vacuum, it will stay, it will open, it will open. Yeah. To check, to check your IAB, this canister, if it works or not, at your idle, you know, rev up the motor. And then you'll see this thing, it will open on you. You know, as soon as you start it up, it will close, right? And then uh, pull the, uh, the plate on the throttle body. And then about 4,000, 5,000 RPM, this thing will open. That's how we, to check if this thing is working. Well, I hope that helps you out, okay? You can always check the web. Okay, this is for uh, my other subscriber. Uh, he was asking uh, what head gasket did we use for uh, the F20B on my uh, my friend's uh, Honda Accord because he's thinking about changing his uh, F20B uh, head gasket. We use a H22A4. One of these are F20B. I'm gonna put them together uh, on top of one another and you can see the difference. Everyone else use H22A4 anyway, not unless you special order one of those from Japan or Europe, I think. Remember the uh, F20B is 85 millimeter, I, I believe. The piston or 86, one of the two. But there's a difference. Okay, right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's likely the H22 is on top. Right there. That's not a hairline. I say maybe 1.8. No, 1 16th. But it's not going to, you will not even feel the difference because it's going to center. So we're talking about one hairline, you know, on every corner but there is a difference okay but it work yeah you, i mean everyone uses it okay so i hope uh, that will, that will help you out and also we use uh h22a4 arp studs let to see if this, if this one would even got the taste of us like ignition and all that we'll see how it goes yeah like I said um, I haven't been on the, the main event yet and uh, let me know if you guys wanted to see you know when I upload something that everything is perfect you know tell me if I'm doing a good job as far as like showing all my mistakes because I, I, I think uh, it's a good idea I mean, let me make the mistakes so you don't have to. That's my motto. You know, uh, if you have seen my vlog way back, ever since I started this motor, this, I have said it, I have named this project an, a no secret build. I have shown just about everything that I, any problem that I ran into this motor. So I am sticking to that uh, statement, a no secret build, okay? Uh, it's funny, uh, over the week, uh, last, not last weekend, but the other weekend, 
about uh, a week ago. My cousin's uh, Supra, we changed his steering wheel. And boy, I tell you, <laughs> a simple connector. There's two connect, well, all, almost all of them, all the connectors. Uh, we were, I was having a hard time disconnecting the damn thing. It's like, it's, there's a finesse, there, there's a key point. You have to uh, press on a certain area to disconnect it. And I have watched this guy on video on YouTube. He goes in there, bam, 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 just like that. Boy, that was a, how in the hell did he do it? I mean, I kept going back and forth, back and forth, because I wasn't the only one. My cousin was also trying to disconnect the damn thing. And, uh, man. I found out it's it's like a woman. There's a key point. You really have to know where to press. That's all. But the point I'm talking about is I don't know if he edited. Who knows? Maybe he is good. But I have said earlier I wasn't born with a wrench in my hand. So But yeah, uh just let me know if I'm doing a good job uh, making all that mistakes, you know. But, oh well. It's running, well, it's gonna be, hopefully it runs. Okay, that's enough talk for uh, one vlog. I'll see you guys back. Bye everyone.